starting to show you know, I think Jane is just going to keep me scrolling. You have free Thursdays. Hey, Jivana, right now, can you see my PowerPoint? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. All right, cool. Thank you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are Friday. Hello, people at home. All right, looks like we've got Lauren Grace, Ruth, Caden Franklin, William London, Nyla Kalina Grin, Lauren Cole, Abigail. Matt, Lily, Abby, Allison, Caitlin, Val, Saif, Thomas, and Jamie. Excellent. All right. Give me your eyeballs up here for just the briefest of minutes. Um, I promise I'm not actually going to take very much of your time today. The majority of your time is going to be boiling. So um, started off with a picture of uh, an artist, a professional artist that uses coiling as her primary building technique. Um, her name is Candice Met, I think is how you say it, or me, I don't know. Um, but at any rate, look at the enormous vessel that she's able to create with coils. It's really astounding, especially on this one right here. The way that she gets it to come out like that and defy gravity is pretty astounding. Um, it's a very, very difficult thing to do, as you're probably learning as you're placing those coils. Um, so I'm certainly not expecting anything of this height and level of complexity in the use of convex and concave. But remember, you do have some requirements for that. So you are, if you're building a mug, how high are you aiming to make those mugs? Four to, five inches. Four to five inches. And there are rulers in front of the table to tell you if you're close. If you're building a vase, uh, what's your range for building your vase? Eight to 10 inches, right. And you can decide um, if you want to go beyond that, great. Uh, but at least eight to 10 inches so that it is a fully fledged flower holding ability vase. Um, so your steps for today, are to simply continue coiling. And if you're making a mug, 
I would really like you to finish that first mug today and then move on to start your second mug. Okay, so we want to try and keep things keep things moving, keep things um, going forward, and you you will have to create two mugs um, at that four to five inch height. And so try to finish one today and then the other one um, begin it today. Get your base made in the same way. Roll a slab. Start building your coils. Um, don't worry about refining it and making it look really good today. We'll talk about refining on Monday. I'll also talk about adding handles on Monday. So don't worry about adding handles. If you finish a mug today, bag it up tight, start your second one. That second one can get bagged up separately. Okay. If you're working on a vase, you're going to continue coiling today, um, aiming towards that eight to 10 inch tall mark. Really, really important though. If you're building a vase, you've got a lot of weight kind of on that, that beginning of coiling that you've already done. So what I might recommend that you do is kind of take stock of what stage your clay is in today. And if you pull it out and it's really soft and sticky and plasticky, put it in front of a fan or stick it in front of a hairdryer or just use a hairdryer for like a minute or if you're putting it in front of the fan, maybe five minutes to firm it up. Because if you put new coils on top of something that is plastic, it's just going to sink and that's going to be incredibly frustrating. So you want to firm up what you've already done before you continue building. On a mug, it's less of a big deal because you don't have as much height on a mug. Um, all right, so your goal is to try and get as much coiling today uh, done as possible. If you really want to glaze, great, but coil for at least 45 minutes. So you have a good amount of coiling progress made today. That's what you're going to photograph, whatever your progress, whatever you did today. And, um, and then if you want to glaze after 45 minutes, so when we have like, I don't know, uh, it's half hour, 20 minutes left of class, so, um, I will be, <laughs> I will be doing a glaze firing for the animals this weekend. So if you want to try and finish glazing your animal and get it over on this cart, um, it will get fired this weekend. So that's, that's going to happen. Um, okay, and then notice number four, step number four. Um, when you're finished for today, snap a pick. And then to ensure that this stays pliable over the weekend and hydrated over the weekend, because we still have to add a handle to this thing, put a damp paper towel not on the project, because that might overhydrate it, and it could actually, you could come back on Monday and it could have, like, melted and disintegrated in your bag and that would be bad. Um, so we don't want the direct uh, water on the clay. Just put that damp paper towel next to it on the tray just to keep that atmosphere in the bag full of humidity. So nothing's going to dry out for you. So um, that's how I want you to write, wrap it up and I'll leave this up on the screen as a reminder when you get to that point at the end of the hour. People at home, you can do the same. Wet paper towel um, on your tray next to your coil project, wrap it up over the weekend. Although people at, at home, you do have the luxury of being able to continue coiling over the weekend to be able to finish more quickly. So that's up to you if you want to do that. I will say, and please everybody listen to what I'm saying right now. I will tell you right now, there's not going to be a Google Meet tomorrow. So there will be an attendance question, but not a Google Meet. Uh, so you don't have to log in for anything. Um, the attendance question, I know already, will be something having to do with what you're missing in my class. So I do want you to check. Before you answer that attendance question, see what you're missing, because I will be asking you, what are you missing in ceramics class? And the reason I'm not going to do a Google Meet tomorrow is I'm really behind on grading, and I'm so, so sorry for that. But I'm going to use tomorrow as a day to catch up on my grading. So um, your grade as it stands right now might not be a true reflection of what you've been turning in. And I apologize again. It's been a very, very busy week. Um, you've heard of senior slide. I have teacher tired. There's just so much going on right now. So anyway, no Google Meet, no Google Meet, yes to attendance question, and I will get your grades done and updated tomorrow. Okay. People who are here in person, any questions that you have before you get off to work today? No? All right. Get to it. People at home, stay on the line. Kate Willen, would you mind flipping on the lights, please? Thank you. All right, people at home. Hello. Um, all right. I need to be able to see myself. You need to be able to see me. 
There we go. Okay. Hi. Um, today, continue with your coiling. Um, continue. Uh, you should have a ruler. You do have a ruler in your swag bag, so you should know exactly how high you've gotten with your coils so far. Make sure you're scoring, slipping, and melding as you go. Um, I know you don't have access to the fan or the hair dryers that we have here in class, but maybe you can, if, you're, if your clay is really soft and plastic and it's kind of too wet for you to continue building on today, um, just let it sit uncovered for like 20 minutes. Go watch a show for 20 minutes and then come back to it. Um, that should be enough time to firm it up just by being in the open air. Um, otherwise, if you have a hair dryer, that's the most efficient thing you can do is just hair dry it to firm it up. That might take like two minutes to do. Um, like I said, uh, definitely wrap it over the weekend. Keep it um, hydrated for Monday when we can add handles and work on scraping and really refining that form. Um, and then this project is going to be due probably, I'm hoping maybe Tuesday of next week. We'll kind of see how it goes. But if you're behind, please use this weekend to get caught up. Um, all right, so I'm gonna see who's here. Uh, if you guys have a question, wanna ask it now, go ahead. Otherwise, I'm gonna take attendance. Got Jeevna, Claire, Helena, Helena, Stella, Gabby, Krish, Kaya, Abigail, Alex, and I have a question. Alexis. Hey, Alex, what's up? Is it just the attendance question tomorrow, or is it also a picture, like a progress picture? It's just an attendance question. If okay. you if you get some work done tomorrow, because maybe you're behind, that's great, but you don't have to document it for me. All right, yeah, because I'm getting my vaccine today, and I didn't know I was on the field tomorrow. <laughs> oh my gosh! Congrats, that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, yep. Nope, no, no required work or submission tomorrow, other than the attendance question. Uh, any other questions you guys have? Okay, so then 